governor of Alabama says Dauphine Island was hit the hardest. Things I thought you never know about me Were the things I guess you Really, I mean, you know, if, if, a, if a family's home burns, their neighborhood can pick them up. If a neighborhood gets knocked out by a tornado, their community can pick them up. If a community gets destroyed, the region can pick them up. What if the region is destroyed 150 miles that way, 150 miles that way, in a good solid like 20 miles inland? Gone, just gone. You couldn't, like the, the slabs, you couldn't wash them any cleaner with a water hose. They just, were, and that was where someone's house was, you know? And it, I mean, still now a lot of them, you still ride by and it's like, oh, that's a pretty piece of land. And you look out in the middle of it, and there's a cement slab where someone's house was, you know? It's just strange. So how do you pick them up? What did you do when you saw this? What did you do? Um, we did a lot of things. We, um, we, we stayed out for six more days, and we had, we had food drives every day, just kind of like makeshift food drives. And everywhere that we'd do that, people just astoundingly brought so, much, so many things. And every place, without asking for it, someone who drove a semi would volunteer every day. It was like, it was like clockwork. Someone would volunteer and said, I'll drive it down there for you. Um, we, uh, Walmart agreed to sell us a lot, like three semis full of truck, uh, uh, trucks full of, of goods for wholesale and then take them down there for us. We were able to buy three uh, police cars for the city of Waveland and a new fire truck because they didn't have any. They didn't have, they didn't have much to begin with, a small town. They had no fire trucks and no cop cars and what do you do? I mean, somebody calls 911 and says, my house is on fire. Oh, sorry, we don't have a fire truck, you know? And so we were able to do that. And uh, our bus company was gracious enough to, to lend them actually a tour bus uh, for like two weeks, and that was their city hall. They had you no say city hall. That your bus company, but this was your tour bus. It was. It was. You gave it to this community. Yeah. Why they, did you do that? It was all they had. Their city hall was literally a tarp stretched over two two by fours, and just it, they had they and they were people. They were walking out through the woods, just collecting like city records, putting them back in cabinets. And I mean, they had nothing down. It was it was like being in the middle of Haiti, you know. It was it was just strange. And and uh, and I remember one cool thing was we filled the every bay of that tour bus. You just couldn't fit any more beer in it. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, if those guys are gonna go out there and work and rescue people all day, I mean, because I had the, no air conditioning all day, and this is in the summertime, 105 degrees, 100 percent humidity. It's like you know that dude when he sits on the bus tonight. He's gonna sit down and have a Bud Light. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that was pretty cool.